Hey, what's up guys? So behind me here is the Tico 3D printer. And this is the printer that I got off of uh, Kickstarter, paid $175. And you can buy this printer today for $170 off of the Tico website. The whole point of this video today is, would I recommend you do that? Hmm. So I've had a uh, colorful past with the Tico in the very short time that I've owned it. It is true they did have a major patch that came out not too long ago which opened up some of the advanced features controlling a lot of the little nitty gritty parts of 3D printing. Um, for example, here's my last failed print. Um, don't, don't forget this little plastic mark here. This is where Tico decided to heat up the nozzle and then smash itself into the print bed and then inject it full of PLA plastic and then bail out. So I have to like orient the print around this mark. Uh, that still happens occasionally to people. I saw that on the forums. But my last failed print, uh, the Tico just stopped printing out, printing out uh, filament. And sure, I've gotten plenty of examples of, of things that have come out okay. Uh, this little half knuckle thing that I, I found on Thingiverse, for example. I had to print this thing four times. This is the fourth attempt before it printed. And that's generally my, my record, is that usually it takes anywhere between two to four prints before I get something that, that works. This is a highly ambitious print. Uh, what this is supposed to be is a crescent wrench. And it's a all-in-one printed crescent wrench that everything should should function. The little gear wheel and all of that. Um, you should be able to break off a couple of support pieces and then this piece, you know, like a standard crescent wrench should just be able to flow freely. You should be able to rotate it and it should move. Um, the Tico just doesn't seem up to the task. It just doesn't seem to have that level of capability in detail. Why do I think that's the case? Well, um, it's over a year ago that the Tico was designed and I think that at over a year ago it was cutting edge then. Now, you've got so many same priced printers that print extremely better detail and have way more perks. For example, the Monoprice Mini. The Monoprice Mini is a $200 printer, printer that comes with a heated print bed and uh, active cooling on the nozzle for PLA plastic. A much better printer. Sure, it's $25 more, but the perks and the capabilities it has far out surpass that of the Tico. Uh, there are a couple advantages. I think that the, the GUI, the way that uh, it is user-friendly is, is something of an advantage. The problem is, is that if you're printing something four times before you get a usable print of something that's pretty low detail, this is just a, it's just a hunk of, of plastic with four sides and a couple of little domed pieces cut out of it. Um, if you have to print that four times before you get one that's actually good, that's a pretty indicative example that there's a larger problem here. And the problem is it's just it's not that it's not that high quality of printer. What's happening between the prints that it takes four times? I mean, like it just stops. Happening? It just stops. It stops extruding. So Leia asks, what is what is it that happens? Well, what happens is it just stops extruding, or um, it'll it'll be vertically creating layers, right? This is how these printers work: is it vertically stacks these layers, and it'll just like shift. It'll just start shifting layers over, no particular but reason. Why does it work by the fourth time? What Don't is know. Happening by the fourth time? I, I'm not exactly sure why, and the Tico company hasn't come out and said exactly what the problem is, but. Um, you just get so many examples of stuff like this. And, and it's not like it's, you do it four times and it works on the fourth time every time, like it's warming up or something. No, not at all. Um, there are situations where I will print, I printed this successfully and I immediately tried to print another one to see if I could replicate the success. It didn't work, it didn't work at all. It failed again in a, in a different different way. So there's, there's a lot of loose tolerances, particularly with what they call a delta printer. A delta printer is three vertical columns and these arms, um, it, it, they, they go up and down and that's what gives you this pendulum rotation for the print nozzle. Um, most of the other ones are like a vertical and then a horizontal uh, vertical bar and a horizontal bar like the Monoprice Mini, which I'll post the link again. So uh, I needed to make this video because I know that I've been posting stuff on Instagram and I've, I've talked about it on, on the YouTubes here. And I don't want people to get the wrong idea that I'm supporting the Tico, because at this point I'm not. And um, 
it, it is what it is, and that's kind of how Kickstarter goes. Sometimes you get a good thing, and sometimes it's it's a not so good thing. And this is not to say that I won't make an update video in the future that they've they've improved upon the Tico and and that the design or the the implementation has gotten better. But understand. No matter how much they fix things with software, you're always going to be dealing with hardware that is stuck in two years, almost two years ago. Um, case in point, the the boat, right, the little Benchy. Um, Benchy is a 3D printer stress test, and there's just tolerances are just whacked all over this thing. There's pieces that haven't fused together. There's uh, visible there's visible size problems with the holes with the little little keep in the back here it is it is it is acceptable for what it does but that's not a value proposition i like to recommend things i like to recommend things to you guys that are value propositions that your dollar gets you far more than what you paid um this is giving you 100 $120 quality for $175. It's a losing bet. Mono price mini at $200. I'm not trying like a shill. I don't even own this printer, but I've seen plenty of reviews on it and it sounds like a lot of people are, are ditching the Tico and they're going to the mono price mini. Um, I may be one of them doing that as well. I haven't decided what I want to do yet. Again, it's all value and I want to make sure you guys get the best value for your dollar. So uh, apologize for making a non-standard uh, vlog here. This isn't really a vlog at all. But I wanted to make sure that I wasn't um, giving you guys the wrong idea. I'm not endorsing the Tico at this point. And that's not to say that I won't in the future um, to anybody at Tico that's watching this. And I am engaged in the forums and I have been trying to help people and people have been trying to help me with issues that I've had in the past. I actually do have a warranty issue out for to get this mat replaced. And it was supposed to be replaced free of charge, but um, that's almost been a month ago since I made that request. So it's it's all very it's all very Kickstarter feeling to me. It's very ad hoc. It's it, 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 every time there's a problem, it takes them a little bit longer to catch up to it. And that's kind of the nature of how Kickstarter works, particularly on some of these fledgling companies. So I don't fault the company, right? I give them credit for what they've done here. This is actually uh, an impressive uh, thing that they could crank out in a short amount of time, in relatively a year or so to do that is impressive. With that said, I don't think that it necessarily deserves your $175 of your hard-earned money, okay? So that's how I will leave it. And uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. I'll do an update if it deserves an update. And as it stands right now, this is where it's going to sit. Uh, and this is in the do not recommend. I would uh, recommend you put your money elsewhere, particularly if you're looking for an entry-level 3D printer like the Monopress Mini. Um, I think I mentioned that four times now. I'm not affiliated with Tico. I'm not affiliated with Monoprice. I'm not affiliated with any of the companies that sell this kind of stuff. So... I, I've got no horse in this race. Uh, you can trust me what I'm what I'm saying is purely based off my experience with this printer alone. Okay? Guys, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you have not already, please subscribe. I would love that. Um, this might be helpful to some people if you've been talking about 3D printers with your family, your friends, or whatever. Maybe share this with them. Uh, my first-hand experience with this may be helpful, and, and I'm happy to answer questions. I respond to everybody in the comments. So that'll do it. All right, guys, that's it. Take it easy. See ya.